Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new Cool School crafting episode. I hope you're ready. If not, I'll, I'll wait. I'll take, okay. You ready? Okay, so today we are gonna make a... Hello Kitty Craft! I'll read a few requests to you now. It's my, my joy notebook from Inside Out. If you wanna learn how to make that, you can click right over there. But wait, first, let's make our Hello Kitty Craft. All right, so our request. River Lynn, you commented three different times for Hello Kitty. Thanks for commenting so much. Gregory Vaz says, Miss Booksy, please make a Hello Kitty story. Wait a second, that's not a comment for me. It's a comment for Miss Booksy. But I'll let her know, Gregory, don't worry. Oh, I got a lot that just said Hello Kitty. So either you were requesting a Hello Kitty craft or you were just saying hi to a cat. That's fine, I say hi to my cat all the time. Hi, cat. Meow. All right, Manny Tomeo, Tomayo. I say tomato, you say tomato, I don't know. Manny says, hello kitty, back to school please. Well, perfecto, because that is what we're gonna do. All right, enough gabbing, let's get started. What do you need to make this craft? I've got this red pencil box that I got from a crafting store for $1. I've got some paper here and markers. I've got one black and one yellow. I have some red glitter glue, Mod Podge, and a little sponge to sponge that on. I got scissors and a pencil. So you'll see here with my pencil box, there's a little square right here, so it's perfect for personalizing. But I wanna fill that up with some nice paper. I got this super cool transparent sort of paper that's got polka dots on it. So we're gonna use that as our background here. I'm just gonna take that, fit that in there, and I'm gonna just trace the side so I know what size to cut it. So you're just gonna cut, and we're just gonna round the edges here. Perfect! And I'm gonna take my Mod Podge here, and I'm just gonna glue it down. Okay, let's see how that dries. Okay, next thing we wanna do is sketch our Hello Kitty. This is where your artistry is gonna come in. First things first, you can see I already sketched one here earlier, so I wanted to practice. But let me show you now how I do it. I like to start with the ear. All right, I'm gonna give a little there. And then I'm gonna do a big circle. There we go. Let's put in our bow here. All right, and then let's just poke our other ear right out. I'm gonna erase some of my lines. And then Hello Kitty's got that little nose. And then two little eyes. I'm gonna do those whiskers. So there you have it. I'm just gonna go over it now with some marker. And you can get your mom or dad, somebody to help you out with this part. All right, and just get your little Hello Kitty there cut out. Be careful here when you're cutting these little whiskers. And check it out, we're almost ready to glue this little kitty down to our pencil box there. I'm gonna take my yellow marker here and I'm gonna make a little yellow nose there. And I'm gonna outline it in black, like so. Here we go. And now, I'm gonna take, where, there it is, I found it. Don't worry, I'm gonna take my red glitter glue here and I'm gonna fill in the bow. You can use regular glue with red glitter or you could just color it in with a red marker. Totally up to you. Check her out. Looking pretty good with her glittery red bow there. So I'm just gonna let this dry. It's gonna take a while. I don't know what else to do. Oh yeah, I know what I'll do. I'll challenge you to a steering contest. It's been a while, so blink a few times. Get ready. Okay, one, two, Three, go! Oh! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I blinked. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought I was gonna win that time. Good job. You Great job. Okay, I know it took forever. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue here on the back of our kitty here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and place that right there in the middle of my pencil box. Oh, oh my gosh, I love it! Da, da, da. 
There you go, you got the most nifty handy dandy pencil box in the entire universe. So that's pretty good. Oh, I love it. It's so great. The little kitty. Oh, she said hello back. All right, cool. And you can put just about anything you want in here, you know. It's a pencil box. I'm gonna put my, my pencil in there. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take my glitter glue. I mean, why not? Yellow marker, black marker. I'm gonna put my, my cat in there. Okay, here's a dog. Wait, wait, no, no, don't mix cats and dogs. Better not put the dog in there. But uh, here we go. And there you have it, boys and girls, a Hello Kitty pencil box. And of course, you don't have to make Hello Kitty if you want to do a character like Garfield, the Aristocats, or I like the Cheshire Cat, like in Alice in Wonderland. The cat's pretty fun. You put a picture of Crafty Carol. I mean, you know, only well, you know if you want to. I'm not pressuring you or anything. I want to give a special fan shout out to Nora. Nora created this amazing fan art right here. It's beautiful, Nora. Thank you so, 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 so much. Well, that's it for this craft, but don't go anywhere because we've got more back to school crafts playing right after this one. So stay tuned and have an awesome first day of school. Bye. Now it's a goodbye, kitty. Stuff, hello, kitty. Bye. Let's watch another craft. Hey there, boys and girls. Time for another fun craft here with Crafty Carol at Cool School. I don't know if you've seen the film Frozen, but you probably have, because like a billion people have seen it already. It's a big blockbuster of the year. So let's do an Olaf-inspired craft. Snowman pencil toppers. Da da da! I made mine out of super simple materials. Styrofoam balls, something sticky. I got duct tape. You're gonna need a nose, but you know, not just this nose, you're gonna need a snowman nose. I made mine out of a little orange kitchen sponge. Sharpies, pencils, twisty ties, paper clips, and some cardstock and scissors. Be careful with your scissors. That wasn't safe what I just did. I could have cut someone's ponytail right off. Wouldn't have been good. But keep your ponytail out of my crafting area. Olaf is not just any typical round-headed snowman, though. I've already crafted this snowman head to look a little more like Olaf. I've got his cheeks there. You can just mash it with your thumbs. Make a nice indentation there. You can use scissors to shave some of it off and just smooth it. So what I did, I drew a couple different eyes, a couple different mouths. I'm just gonna pick which one I like the best. Get this right here. Now I'm gonna cut out the mouth. I like this mouth right here. Got her mouth, got her eyes. Looks pretty good. Once you get your eyes and your mouth, took a little paper clip and I'm twisting it and bending it out. See like this? I bent it out and I'm gonna bend this out straight. Here's where our sticky stuff comes in. Use some duct tape here, put it around the paper clip. Stick these eyes right there. Oh, and this is also handy if you're going to the opera. And I'm gonna stick my eyes. Ow! We're looking good now, because we can, you know, look. All right, so it's the exact same process for the mouth. You got our paper clip and wrap it up. Stick our mouth onto that. Oh my goodness, look how much it looks like Olaf. So what's Olaf missing now? Oh, just a, I don't know. Got this orange sponge here. Cut a little piece of it like this. Just using my pencil here to make a little hole to get the nose started. Olaf is looking pretty good. There's one thing missing though. Olaf has a little sprig of hair on top. Yes, he does. So that's where our twisty ties come in. There's one little sprig, another one, and let's give him one more. One last step, and then you're uh, you're in business for being awesome. So here you go, kids. Just pretty much the best pencil topper you ever saw. Let's watch another craft. Hey there, kids. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. Oh, what's that? It's a bird. 
No, it's a plane. No, it's Super Carol here to make some superhero crafts today. That's right. We're going to make superhero pencil toppers. So what do you need to make this craft? Let's go down the list. I got scissors. I got some red and black felt for my capes. I got some yellow construction paper, pencil top erasers. I got some pencils, a marker, and some glue. Put on your capes, get your shields, and let's get crafting. All right, so let's get started with our Batman pencil topper first. First thing I want to do is measure out my piece of felt here. So I'm going to take this eraser. I'm just going to kind of roll it over until I see I can get my eraser 100% covered. I'm just going to cut out that size of piece of felt. See how if I roll it up, it covers the eraser? That's what you want. Okay, now I'm going to cut out my bat ears. Cut two triangles until I got a little piece like this. See? Okay, so we got our ears cut out right here. We've got our eraser. Now we're just going to glue this onto this. Get it all smothered in glue. Yeah, I'm just going to wrap this around. And I got that glued on and look at that. I got a Batman head right here. Na 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 bat head. All right. So I'm just going to set that aside right there. He's going to look over my crafting table and know what kind of crime we would have around here. Maybe somebody comes along and tries to steal my crafting supplies. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a cape for our little Batman, our little cape crusader here. I'm just gonna start with a rectangle of felt, and then I'm gonna make this into more of a triangle. Not quite a triangle, but almost. And then to make a hole for our pencil top, I'm gonna fold over the top, and then I'm gonna make just a tiny, just the tiniest little cut there. Just the, the tiniest that your even like your pinky finger will barely even fit through. We're almost done with our Batman pencil topper here. I'm gonna add a little bat to this yellow. I'm just gonna freestyle it. Okay, that's looking pretty awesome. All right, so I'm gonna take a yellow pencil here because, you know, Batman's colors are yellow and black. I'm gonna take my cape, just gonna pop that. That's why we have that just tiny little hole. Now let's just pop this right on top. Check it out. Oh my gosh, it's a super pencil. So now let's make a Superman pencil topper. Why not? Let's go ahead and make the cape. You pretty much know how to do that. Remember, we're gonna fold it over at the top and then we're gonna make the tiny, just the tiniest little cut right there. Oh, it's so tiny, it's so cute. All right, so that's our cape. Batman, watch that. Don't let the penguin or the Joker come along and, and steal. Superman's cape. So then I'm gonna take a black pen here. I'm just gonna draw a Superman face. So Superman, it's all about the hair. You know what I mean. He's got that little swoop, that little curl that hangs down right there. He probably spends hours trying to get that curl just right. Using all of Lois Lane's mousse and hairspray. Trying to get that perfect little curl. When you see pictures of Superman from the comics, he's always got a stern mouth. Guess there's no smiling when you're a superhero. I don't know why they never smile. The Joker smiles. I don't know why Batman or, or Superman can't smile. I mean, you know, he's... He's crazy, he's, he's a little bit Looney Tunes, but you know, he's got a smile on his face. Well, there you go, we got a, little, got a little Superman here. We're gonna need a shield. That's why I got this yellow construction paper. And to make the Superman shield just a little, oh my gosh, we're dealing with shapes again. What's this shape called? And then I'm gonna take my red marker here and I'm just gonna outline my shape with an unknown name. And then I'm gonna draw an S in there. And let's cut that out. It's super tiny, so be careful. And I'm just gonna glue that onto our Superman. Check him out. All right, he's starting to look super. He's got a shield and everything. I'm gonna put my cape on. Cool, all right, check that out. Well, super duper, we got two superhero pencil toppers here. We got Batman, we got Superman. What's better than that? Well, you probably tell me in the comments. Superman comes to save the day and then Batman shows up and he's, he's all <laughs> Wait, don't go yet. Subscribe, watch some more crafts with me, Crafty Carol, and tell me in the comments what you want to see next. I know about slime. I am definitely gonna make slime. It's coming soon, I promise you. All right, and that's it. 